Hey, good morning. This is Jay Nicholas. We're going to tie a trout clouser using new hairline pastel bucktails. I'm going to tie this really sparse and uh, a small hook and it is going to be deadly for a trout and who knows what else. Okay, let's get going. Okay, here we go. We're going to tie a trout clouser. It's going to look pretty much like this one uh, with hairline pastel bucktail. Uh, you can use a variety of hooks. I like fairly small hooks for trout. Um, you know, trout can be pretty pesky, and little trout can grab some, you know, small flies, big flies. And a small fly is less likely to hurt the fish. Uh, small fly, small hook is less likely to hurt a little trout than a big hook. Using 210 denier fluorescent blue uh, thread. Little bit of Loctite here. Not too much, not too little double pupil in my eyes. So, uh, with this pastel bucktail, this is a pastel red. Why use pastel? Why the heck not? It's just really cool looking stuff. It's fairly subtle. Now, I'm going to make these flies fairly sparse. I'm going to make them sparser than you would find them. Uh, commercially tied, I think. I will, anyway. Um, because they're really effective when they're sparse. Uh, by the way, those are extra small double pupil eyes. And you can use all kinds of eyes. Here's some peacock crystal flash. Spelled with a K. Isn't that cute? So for the back, you know, you know, um, is there a magic color to use when you're tying a trot closet? No, there really isn't. You can gear them. This is the pastel orange. I'm gonna get a few fibers there. Now before I tie it in, I'm going to get a few fibers of this minnow blue. Uh, you can tie, you know, if I was fishing for Chinook, I'd be using, probably be using a chartreuse in there somewhere. So I've got, I know I'm kind of out of frame, but here's my orange and my minnow blue and my orange, my minnow blue isn't quite long enough, so I'm going to pull it up there. There we go. Um, so for trout, you could use black and white. You could use blue and white. You could um, tan and orange. Let's see that. Those hair tips are sticking out a little bit. Let's pull them back. Ooh, that's pretty nice. You could use a different thread. I, I like this 210 denier. It's, this is not so much for strength, it's just to help fill out the head. And there's not a lot of bulk there anyway. So this could be, I could call this a baby rainbow clouser. I could call, who knows, I could call it anything I wanted to. Point is you could, uh, you can certainly vary the colors and let's use a little bit of uh, UV here. UV Deer Creek Fine Flex Tack Free. Do you have to use this? Nope. Can you use this? Yep. Is it nice stuff? Absolutely. Gives you a nice glossy look on that head. There we go. So the, I mean, little clousers are just super effective for trout. 
and just make them make them nice and sparse. Now I'm, I'm trying to get that crystal flash to go down both sides of the hook point. There you go. So our nice little clouser right there. It's going to be a winner. Vary the colors. Try the pastels and the UV colors by Spirit River. Thank you for joining me. Hope you have fun out there.